What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we have another PSA returns video. We still have three more boxes. There should be 20 cards each. So let's go through another one of these and see what kind of grades we have. Today we'll do this four of six box. I have, it seems like they, you know, the, the cards were sent in order, and that's the order that they get graded on. Uh, but the, these numbers on these boxes don't exactly correlate, so I'm not sure what's in here. Uh, I've had to, I have taken a peek at the grades, um, but I didn't want to show them off to you guys. But I'm not sure what's in here. Uh, the first batch we went through on a separate video was a lot of base set Charizards. If you haven't checked that out, definitely do. Um, Thumbnail has like all three base starters, and then at the end of a live stream, went through a handful of shadowless base so let's see what we have this time there's some really good stuff i think there's some modern cards there's some japanese promos in the returns and we have okay so we're going through some hidden fate stuff we got the gold lunala boom psa 10 this is a promo card from the ultra premium collection and i think lunala is probably not the most uh, fan favorite one Ooh, a Glacian. So we got some Evolutions, Hidden Fates, and another PSA 10. Definitely want a full PSA set. So it might take a while to get the 10s, but uh, I'll settle for like 9 slash 10 set for now. And eventually I'll fill it. Ooh, the ETB Birds. Like, I love this card. Uh, such a cool art. And the fact that they included it as the ETB promo was absolutely amazing. And boom, we do have a 10. Such a epic art right there. PSA 10, PSA 10 stained glass birds. And we got more birds. Another 10. Uh, this might be a third one. Oh, nope. We got Alolan Ninetales. Uh, one of Bethel, my favorite Alolan, but as far as the shiny goes, it's just kind of bluish, like a shade. Uh, PSA 10, though. Getting All right, so a very strong start to the PSA 10 collection for Hidden Fates. There's a Soul Galeo gold card, and yep, another 10. Those promos are usually not too difficult if you get like a few of the products. Another Soul Galeo, another 10. All right, this Hidden Fates uh, PSA collection might not be too hard to do. We got the Rayquaza, that's another promo. PSA 10, so we did pick up like a handful of the, the boxes, like the big ones with the figure, uh, some of the smaller ones, but still the promos in like seven packs. Ooh, I love this card. Although I think I like the the regular or the full art, uh, like this version of the art, but the non-rainbow because it's kind of hard to see what's going on. And this is like a movie poster of a card. The art is so cool. Ah, just a mint nine for the Cosmic Clips uh, Rishi Ram Secret Rare. Let's keep going. Ooh, nice, a gold Zacian. We pulled these, man, when Sword and Shield first came out, actually, it seemed like it wasn't too hard to pull the Zacian, and we did indeed get the 10. There might be two of them, and there might be two 10s. Another gold Zacian, very nice. Let's keep going, let's keep the 10 train rolling. Oh, another Evolution, very nice. Sylveon. And another 10. All right. So what was that? Was it Glacian earlier? And then Sylveon. Oh, Leafeon. All right, so what's that? What else do we have in here? Like as far as evolutions. And another 10. So we only have one 9 from Cosmic Clips, but so many 10s in this in this uh, PSA returns. Rayquaza, another 10. I don't know why they're so out of order. Like, why aren't the Rayquazas all together? So Galeo. Sogaleo 10. That's our third Sogaleo. Two Lunalas, two Rayquazas, and all right, something different. Dust Mane across for Ultra Prism, uh, Secret Rare, and PSA 10. I think this was like the, the Ultra Prism was like the first uh, set that I got back when I got back into the hobby. Another Glaceon. This is from Ultra Prism as well. Ooh, just a mint nine, but that's okay. I feel like this is unlikely I'm going to ever do like a full set, so I'm happy I got the shiny one, PSA 10. Ooh, Dragonite. Dragonite, Dragon's Majesty, I think. I think this was the promo from like the Super Jumbo box. We got another 10. And another Stained Glass Birds. Ooh, so we did excellent on the Stained Glass Birds. All 10s. Ooh, nice, a Blastoise Piplup. And another PSA 10. I would grab one more box. It's only been like five minutes or so. 
So only two more of these, and then I did want to get these open so I could go through the exercise of sorting all the PSA cards uh, by like sets and stuff like that. All right, so we'll go through we'll go through this one. Six of six. All right, so there are some really cool Japanese promos that I'm hoping we find in here. And I need to cut one more thing. They do a pretty good job of wrapping these up. <laughs> it's kind of hard to realize I need to cut that too. All right, see what we got. But uh, yeah, it took um, a good four months to get these back. And at the same time, I sent in a larger collection. I think this also, this was a hundred card set. Uh, submission and then I did another like 250 and that one hasn't even begun getting graded yet So it'll be a while before we get the rest back. Yes, the scream the scream promos like awesome awesome stuff the Ed Edward Munch um, Like that the famous screen painting they did a kind of like a gallery in Japan And then they created these promos to commemorate that and oh, I love these cards. I actually wouldn't mind like a set of like sevens because I would probably like frame it to hang on the wall. Uh, oh my gosh, yes, the the Mario Pikachu is so cool. my one of my yeah, I'm gonna say my favorite Japanese promo. And Luigi is obviously you can't forget about Luigi. I, I do have a lot of Mario's, only a couple of Luigi's, so I'm really happy to get the Luigi 10 because definitely picked up. Oh, and there he is, Mario PSA 10. Yes, uh, we. At this point, I have a couple of these, and God, that's, yeah, favorite Japanese promo. Although, uh, oh, so many good ones. Like, I love all the Poncho ones. I love the screens. Mario definitely takes the cake. Magic Car Poncho, PSA 10. Yes, so uh, for, for sets like Hidden Fates, uh, Champion's Path, like, yep, English is where it's at for me. But some, some of these cards are just so good, and the only option is going with the Japanese versions. This is the uh, Mega Charizard Poncho. Ah, the Mimikyu Scream. So this one, I think started that Pikachu was the most expensive one. Then after a little bit, people realized there's not that many of these Mimikyus. You had to buy it with one of those port little portfolio things and it was the car that came with it. So this is the most expensive one, PSA 10. There we go. I think um, it's going for like 2,000 right now. Unless we got another Mimikyu, another 10. All right, here's the Pikachu. I think this one, I Pikachu actually didn't do as good on, and I have no idea why. Japanese cards, like, they're usually very good condition. Just a Mint 9, so our first Mint 9 for these screen cards. And here's the Rowlet, Mint 10, or Gem Mint 10. Psyduck, all right, will this get a 10? It will, so we do have the full, the trio, the Psyduck, Rowlet, Eevee. As 10, we have two Mimikyu 10s, no Pikachu yet. All right, back to Hidden Fates. We got the Cynthia, full art supporter. Very nice Gem Mint 10 right there. As far as supporters, definitely like Guzma, Cynthia are the best ones. Oh, Umbreon, okay. Um, all right, so then we have Espeon too. So I'm not sure if I sent to Espeon, but we got the 10 for the Umbreon as well. So, you know, we already got the Charizard. We already got most of the Evolutions PSA 10. So this PSA 10, Hidden Fate set is coming along fast. Here's another shiny Charizard, and boom! Uh, our first PSA returns, we did get two of these, and now we have a third. A couple of people have asked me about uh, picking up one of these. All right, so this, such an epic card, the Burning Shadow. So we're kind of where this art came from. This is the shiny version, obviously, but this is the original. Mint 9, one day we'll have a 10. Might have to buy it, though. I think right now, like... When I first got back in the hobby, it was a $500 card for the 10. Now it's like 25. Might have missed my opportunity. I think I have a few more to get graded, but I don't think they're gonna get the 10. And uh, Celestial Storm, Secret Rare, Rayquaza, PSA 9. I believe that was the chase card of that set. Uh, also, oh, this was a pretty good one, Blacephalon. And, oh no, this lost Thunder Room, I think. Oh, but this one does have the 10, very nice. Still a good card. And the Alolan Ninetales, another really cool card. That is a pretty cool sublimation GX. Was it if it's Ultra Beast, just knock it out. PSA 10. Really happy with that one. Alright, just a few left. 
Ooh, look at this. From Evo and Evolutions. What is going on with Evolutions right now? Oh, what are the boxes going for? In a matter of a month or two? Like 5x the price? And boom, PSA 10. Not the, I guess the, the regular charts are, has a lot more potential. But man, that art is epic. And looks like we just got two more. A Reshi, Reshizard from Unbroken Bonds. Boom. Ah, just a nine. All right, and the last card for this PSA Returns video, we have a Guardian. Gardevoir Sylveon Tag Team. Ah, just a gem, or mint nine. No gem mint there. So, excellent PSA grades. Really happy with all this and happy to add all these to my collection. Yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you do enjoy the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Bell for notifications. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.